So you're thinking about moving to the French Quarter in New Orleans, but you're not really sure what it's like to live there as a local. Well, I'm going to take you through a guided map tour and show you what you're going to need to know about what it's like to live there as a resident. Things like how far the airport is from the French Quarter, where the central business district is if you might work there in the future, and other things that locals like to enjoy. So let's go on and get right to it. jump into the map, I want to introduce myself. My name is Riley and my team and I have received thousands and thousands of messages from people just like you. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, go ahead and send us a text or an email, give us a call or schedule a Zoom call and I'd be happy to meet with you and help you with your smooth move to New Orleans. All right, now let's get into the video. So welcome to my screen. Welcome to Google Maps and um, let's just jump right into it. This area right here that's highlighted in red, I'll circle it for you. Do, 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 all the way over there and actually drops below the Mississippi River a bit. All of that is considered to be New Orleans, okay? Now today we're just gonna be focusing on the French Quarter, of course, which is just this tiny little area right about there. <laughs> So um, normally when people visit New Orleans, they don't really realize it, but they're pretty much just staying right there in the French Quarter when there's this whole huge ginormous section of New Orleans that they didn't really get to experience. Um, so yes, the French Quarter is very popular for um, tourists as well as locals love living there as well, whether it be their first home or second home, it's such a popular area. Um, and I guess let's go ahead and zoom right in. And the first thing that we can talk about is the airport. Whether you travel for work or maybe you're retired and you like to travel and visit family members, whatever the case may be, the airport is important, right? You don't wanna be two hours from the airport or something like that, or most people don't. So let me see. So, this area, right, and actually I'll, I'll circle the French Quarter so you have a better idea, right here. That's the French Quarter. Over here in Kenner is the Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport. That's a mouthful. Most people just call it the New Orleans Airport. Um, so typically what people will do from the French Quarter is hop on to Interstate 10, I-10, and get to the airport that way. It's usually the quickest way, of course, depending on traffic. It could take you anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes without any traffic, but if you're going to be traveling on, let's say, a busy Saturday or rush hour on Monday through Friday during a weekday, you might wanna add an extra 15 or so minutes to your travel time, just in case you don't wanna miss that flight. Um, also touching on the airport, they just rebuilt the airport in New Orleans. It's awesome now. They, it's much more modern, but they kept that New Orleans kind of vibe to it with the jazz aspect. Um, they really kept the culture alive there as well as some of the restaurants and whatnot that they have. They also have, um, you know, the typical convenience style stores. They have Cafe Du Monde. Stephanie might have touched on that in the vlog video of the French Quarter. Um, they have other fast food restaurants like Chick-fil-A and whatnot. Anyway, the new New Orleans airport is super convenient. It's not huge. You're not going to get lost or anything like that. It doesn't have multiple terminals where you have to take um, those trams, trains, <laughs> whatever, to um, the different terminals. It's it's really not that big, brand new. Like I said, if you're gonna live in the French Quarter or anywhere in New Orleans, it's a really nice airport. All right, the next thing that I would like to touch on is, let's zoom in here and actually zoom out just a tiny bit. Okay. The next thing is let's look into the warehouse district and the central business district area, the CBD. That's gonna be that area right there. And again, 
um, if you lost if you lost it before, this is about the French Quarter. It's only like six by 12 blocks, which is absolutely crazy. It's the oldest square mile in New Orleans, and it's home to more restaurants and bars per square block than any other neighborhood. If you can believe that houses are most of the houses are extremely close together. Sometimes there's going to be little alleyways and stuff like that that will lead to courtyards in between the homes. But yes, they are very close together. Um, and getting back to the warehouse and central business district, if you are going to be working in this area, I mean, even if you're coming from the middle of the French Quarter on over, you're talking like a five minute commute to work. That's um, that's usually driving. Now there are a lot of one way streets in the French Quarter as well as the Central Business District. So that can add up traffic wise a little bit. But regardless, whether you're walking, taking the bike, riding your scooter, um, driving your vehicle, whatever it is, the commute to the CBD is not bad at all. It's super convenient if you're gonna live in or near the French Quarter. All right, let's go ahead and clear that out. Now, the next thing I wanted to touch on is this area right over here is called Champion Square. A lot of people know it as where the Superdome is, where the Saints play, the New Orleans Saints. So the big Superdome is located right here. And whether you're a Saints fan or maybe you're a fan of a different team, but that might play at the Superdome and you want to be able to check out the game locally, look how close it is from the French Quarter. Oh my gosh. I mean, you're talking like five to 10 minutes max. Um, I mean, maybe during game day, <laughs> it'll be a little bit longer, maybe in the 10 minute range, but regardless, super, super close if you enjoy football. And also the Superdome as well as the Smoothie King Center, which I believe, I believe is right in this area right here. The Smoothie King Center, as well as the Superdome, is where a lot of big concerts and events are held. So if you're a big concert goer, um, then this is going to be an awesome spot for you um, being so close. Um, what else? What else is in Champion Square? Of course, if you like tailgating um, and like the lively scene, it's going to be right in here in the Champion Square area. It's so much fun. You absolutely have to check it out. Um, even if you're not a Saints fan, you have to check it out. It is so much fun. All righty. So I just cleared that out. Now we're going to get on to another awesome part of the French Quarter. Let's zoom in a little bit here. So we're going to zoom. We're going to zoom way into the French Quarter here. All right. All right, now if you see here, this really, really popular part, there you go, is where the St. Louis Cathedral is and um, Jackson Square. This is an absolute must see, must do, whether you're a tourist or a local. It's so beautiful to go check it out. The grounds at Jackson Square are stunning. They keep it up so well, beautiful, lush greenery, palm trees, I mean, there's, it's absolutely gorgeous. You have to go take pictures, check out the cathedral, both inside and out. It's stunning. Um, and on the outskirts of Jackson Square, so along these roads there, there are local vendors and musicians. There are some phenomenal artists that post their artwork on the fences along Jackson Square. They are so pretty. It's awesome to buy locally. If you are in the area, you know, whether you're moving here or not, really go check it out. I think it's absolutely fantastic to go walk around the perimeter and see what the local artists are up to and buy something. All right. And then also right here, you'll notice this kind of green space right beside Jackson Square. It's kind of like a, oh, I'm not going to think of the right word, like a, like venue style seating. It's not venue, but anyway, um, seating that kind of goes up 
amphitheater style seating. Um, it's not huge by any means, but there'll be um, really cool things that happen like down along the streets. There'll be really um, awesome dancers and stuff like that will, that will put on awesome shows and it's totally free. You can just go and tip them if you enjoy sitting and watching for 30 minutes or whatever. It's really, really cool. And then afterward, after you watch the little live entertainment, if you will, you can walk over here and all along, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Oh, goodness. Okay. All along this area here, so we were just there, is going to be um, walking paths and pavilions, little gazebos, whatnot. They call it Walden Park. There you go. And it's along the Mississippi River. If you want to escape some of the hustle bustle of New Orleans, you know, that lively, really energetic vibe, go ahead and walk over, take a walk along the Mississippi River. It's absolutely stunning. I love it, especially on a beautiful day. Bring your bike or go on a walk, maybe a run and enjoy, enjoy this part of the outdoors of New Orleans. I, I love doing that personally. All right. Now, Let's go ahead and there it is. Okay, while we're over taking our stroll along Walden Park, here is the Audubon Aquariums of the Americas. This aquarium is awesome. You have to check it out. Not only is the aquarium itself awesome and everything that's in it, but they also hold events here. And a lot of events that are held there are charity events. Very cool, they have live music there. It's right along the Mississippi River. If you have kids, a great spot to bring your kids. But if you don't, like my husband and me, we love going and visiting the aquarium every like other year. Or so we we think it's a lot of fun. So that's um, that's something that you can do as a local in the French Quarter. Okay, now for this last section of the map videos, I want to zoom into the French Quarter and show you what it's all about. I mentioned before how many restaurants and bars, there's so many museums and things going on in the French Quarter. So let's go ahead and zoom in and check it out a bit. Okay. Right here, we were we were just at Jackson Square, right? And walking along the Mississippi River. Cafe Du Monde and the French Market right here. This is an absolute, and it actually creeps over here. You absolutely have to check out the French market. They have so many local vendors, everything and anything that you could possibly imagine being sold here, a lot of it being handmade and whatnot, you absolutely have to walk through. There are so many vendors. There's also restaurants and stuff where you can buy food and drinks as you walk around shopping. Um, prices are negotiable. It's really fun. My family and I love going there whenever we're in New Orleans. So. I think this is a tourist spot, but it's also a great local spot. Let's move over here a bit. Okay, so this road right there down the middle is one of the most famous streets, definitely in New Orleans, definitely in the French Quarter is Bourbon Street, okay? Now you can see all of the yellow going on around here. And of course, down in this below area, those are all businesses, tons and tons of businesses in the French Quarter, but definitely along Bourbon Street. So if we zoom in, all right, you're going to see a bunch of bars and restaurants. Oh my gosh, galore. Okay. Saints and Sinners, if you know Channing Tatum, that's his business. <laughs> um, Spirits on Bourbon Street, there's a, another bar for you. Um, the Cat's Meow. All right, Oz. <laughs> um, New Orleans Po' Boys, all down Bourbon Street. I mean, I can zoom in e even more. The list of bars and restaurants, especially along Bourbon Street, is just absolutely endless okay i'll keep scrolling for you there we go oh 
All right, as you can see, this is um, a good zoom level, if you will. So the yellow are businesses, like I said before, right? Now, the gray, most of the gray are homes. Now let's look just in this little area right here. See these gaps, here, let me grab my pen. See these gaps, like right in here and around, we got this area here and here, and here you go, right there. Um, and it actually, this is a perfect example, Razoo Bar and Patio. This area back here, as well as others in this space, those are usually courtyards. And if they're stacked multiple times, like see this building and kind of looks like it's just in the middle of the block, <laughs> usually those are where the main business is and then you have a courtyard and then you have a guest house. Or if it's a business, then you'll have the back section of the business in between the courtyard and the two buildings. I think coming from Utah personally, I think this is so cool. The courtyards are awesome. It adds so much unique culture, not the right word that I'm looking for, but the culture, the French and Spanish culture of New Orleans in the French Quarter is awesome. And the courtyards have such a big um, influence on the feel of that. And of course, the famous balconies, the balconies in the French Quarter are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, but I think these little, you wouldn't really know that these gaps are are courtyards back there or um, sections that lead to the guest house in the bath, in the, in the bathroom, in the back area <laughs> or the mother-in-law suite, if you will, whatever you want to use it for. Most people I find that have homes back here or second homes, they use the house in between the home and the courtyard as a second, as a guest house. I'm sorry. Um, well, I guess we can wrap it up here. That's some of the main stuff. There's um, some other restaurants and whatnot. There's, I mean, there's a million restaurants. Are you kidding me? This one, I just zoomed out at the perfect spot, actually. Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop Bar. That is the oldest bar in Louisiana for sure. Um, and it used to be used as a, as a blacksmith um, store, blacksmith shop. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um, Back in the day, it used to be used as other things as well, but it is the oldest bar in Louisiana for sure. And I believe it's in like the top two or three oldest bars in the United States and the nation. So that that is pretty cool. The list is endless with, with restaurants and bars. Like I said, I mean, they're all over the place. It is such a fun area to be a local. Everyone is so nice. The Southern hospitality and the friendliness is incredible. The food's incredible. I think this is such a wonderful place to live. It is one of the most expensive places to live in New Orleans, but if you have the means to do so, I absolutely recommend looking into homes and seeing if there's anything that um, sparks your interest. Sparks? Spikes your interest? <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, I think that wraps it up. All right, I hope that was helpful and I was able to answer some of your questions about what it's like to live here in the French Quarter. And again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, go ahead and reach out in whatever way is most convenient for you. And we would love to help you with your smooth move to New Orleans. If you're new here to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and give the video a like. It really does help our channel and allows more people to see these videos and hopefully help them as well. All right, now let's go ahead and roll with the footage that we got from the French Quarter.